Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a review on the Night Scuba NSV80 underwater video lights. We're going to talk about the blue filters that go on the front. We're going to talk about the strobe functions, the battery life, the quality of light, how they perform underwater, and we're going to compare them directly to our Kelvins that we already own. We're going to help you decide whether you can spend a lot less money and use this and get professional results whether you need to spend the extra on the Rolls-Royce of lights, the Kelvins. Let's find out how they fare. Let's roll the bumper. Before we take a look at the lights in more detail, let's just go through some footage, have a look how it looks in log and once graded. This will give you a more realistic interpretation of how they actually perform in real world scenarios. Okay, so now we've seen some footage, we really need to decide, is it worth spending the extra money on the Keldons? Or will the night scuba really do what we need? The short answer for me is the night scuba is good enough. It's really, really good. The main thing when I use these kind of lights I look for is how the light falls off on the subject. Now, when I first used Keldons, I was amazed. There was no hot spots. I had this beautiful, soft light spread, very soft feathered edges. However, as soon as I started using the Night Scuba, I realized it was very, very similar. The fall off is indiscernible. So with that in mind, if you don't already own the Keldons or you're looking for a new video light, I would say the Night Scubas are definitely worth a look. So what's in the box? We have the Night Scuba soft case, the light itself, the blue filter, I think it's an optional accessory. We have spare O-rings, the instructions, and of course the charger. Okay, for the weigh-in, the Keldon comes in at 718 grams, and the Night Scuba weighs in at 1,015 grams. So, around 300 grams heavier. So when you turn the video light on, you have full power, less power, less power, less power, and then strobe function. When this light is flashing, you can plug a fiber optic cable from your camera or from your housing directly into this video light, and it will act in exactly the same way as a traditional flash or strobe will work underwater. So you can take stills with faster shutter speeds and get the flash output. This is a really cool feature. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the light head. We have double O-rings on here. And then we have the battery itself inside. 3,400 milliamps. Charge takes around one to one and a half hours. Battery lasts about the same one hour, full power, one and a half hours. So do I recommend them? 100% I recommend them. If you're looking for new lights for your video setup, or you haven't got the budget for the Keldons, I really do recommend the Night Scuba lights. Absolutely 100% worth every cent. So you will see up on the screen now a discount code and a link where you can buy the lights. Everybody have a safe dive and I look forward to seeing you on a dive site somewhere here in the Philippines sometime soon.